Okay, hi everybody. Um, this video is about um, we're all, let all that we do be done in love and exposing some things that I believe that people should know. The first thing that I want to talk about is love because that should be our first order of business. You know, we're to love others as ourselves. Um, and Father wants us to um, not get in long debates or arguments. We're to answer people about our faith and to spread the good news and tell people to repent from their sins and to help correct one another, um, rebuke and things of that nature. Um, but whenever it comes to pride and trying to be the smartest man in the room or whatever woman in the room, I don't believe that's what we're called to do. The Holy Spirit, oh, there's a pretty vine right up there. Um, remember he said, remain in me, I am the vine, you are the branches. So remain in him and you'll bear much fruit. Um, and he is love. Um, so he was talking to me about um, how we're to love one another. And Jesus expressed and showed and exampled how we're to do that. And that's laying our lives down for another. That's not, he didn't go and make himself look real smart or anything. He just spoke the truth. And he had the Spirit of God, which the Spirit of God is holiness, the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit of truth has been sent into the world right now. I don't know if everyone's noticing, but we're, we're understanding things a little clearer. Things are coming um, uh, from the Spirit of truth to bring um, uh, the truth into the world. Um, because the whole world has gone after falsehoods. Um, we've all inherited lies, um, as the word says that we would, and that we would all be in a strong delusion, which is true. We've all been in a strong delusion, uh, myself included. I, I grew up in a Baptist church. I grew up in the ways of the world um, and uh, grew up watching television, um, just like everybody else, and following the Olympics and sports and wanting to be a big athlete myself. I've left those things, um, not I have not left the faith. I, have ne I will never leave the faith because by faith we are saved. Um, uh, I've left the false teachings of, the, of man because the word of God says that we're not to follow man and we're not to be um, man pleasers. We're to be God pleasers and follow God and listen to him. And he speaks to me and I can hear him and I obey him when he tells me to do something. And right now he's um, moving me to make a video. So I'm making a video because I obey my father, like Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus um, told us to do. He says, those who obey my father, those are my brothers and my sisters, my mother and my father. That's what he said. And he told me, he showed me that um, even on the cross, he said, forgive them, father, for they know not what they do as they were crucifying him. So he's very merciful. And in the, in the in Psalms, it says his mercy endures forever. So I really, truly believe that. I do also believe that he did not follow the false ways of men. Um, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, he basically, you know, he proved them to be not understanders of the word. They didn't understand the words they were reading. They didn't even, they didn't get it because they didn't have the spirit of truth. They didn't have the spirit that gives gives you truth, which is the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the, um, the one true God speaking and pouring out living waters into his people, um, giving them the truth. In the scriptures, it also says, in, in his holy word, it says that, um, that uh, Elijah would come and restore all things. Uh, is, this, is this the time of Elijah um, by the Spirit? Um, and until then, we're not to... Um, we're not to, uh, what is it called? I'll have to look that up. I think I made a video on that scripture. But anyways, um, the, the point of this video is just to show that let all that we do be done in love. And so uh, agape means love, as I have said before. There's many meaning, meanings for things in the world. And it's very clear that the world has um, a duality or um, the, no the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We could eat of both trees. We can see good or we could see evil. It's up to which eye we're going to feed. And um, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, said there's only one that's good, and that's Father God. Um, so Father Yahweh. And I truly believe that that's true. And if you have his spirit, 
then you will be doing good works. And those are not works that we're doing of our flesh. Those are works that we're doing of the Spirit because we live by faith and not by sight. We live by the Spirit, um, not by our flesh. And um, if you've crucified your flesh, you're living by the Spirit and you're living um, in His will and not your own. And that's what I strive to do. And my will is slowly um, becoming His will. And I'm doing things for Him and, and the way that He would have me do them. Loving my brothers, um, not trying to be right all the time because it's his wisdom. The Holy Spirit is his wisdom. It's not my wisdom. I don't own the wisdom. I don't own the understanding. He opens my eyes and ears. Yahushua, Jesus, has opened my eyes and the ears, my ears so that I can see and hear correctly. So I can see and hear the truth. And one of the things he showed me was about the Olympics and how the Olympics are pagan, ritualistic, witchcraft, um, worship of Zeus, which is Baal, if you research um, that, and um, the fire and everything has to do with worshiping the, the lower G gods, uh, the Greek and Roman gods. Greek and Rome are the same. Um, the Roman Empire is still alive and well today, and they, are, they tricked us all into um, watching and worshiping these uh, people, which we're not supposed to do. Anyways, um, I wanted to make this short. That was one of the things that um, he's led me to. And I'm going to post, I think I like some videos. If I haven't, I will like some videos on the truth about the Olympics. And um, there's many other things in the world, many, many, so many things that he's shown me that just blows my mind away, um, which our mind and our heart are, you know, kind of the same thing. Um, uh, and we're to confess with our mouth um that Jesus Christ is Lord, and that's what I'm confessing, that Jesus Christ is Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the Messiah. He is the Son of the living God, and I truly believe that He is coming again. I believe that first there will be a, um, a false uh, Christ, a counterfeit, just like there's a counterfeit agape word, you know, that says something else, and I'm not even going to research it. It's not worth my time because Father Yah showed me that agape means his love and certainly I'm sure there's some false uh, uh, thinkers out there who believe in um, the, that God is a, not form and that God um, that God is energy source an energy source um, and there's some truth and some lies to that but God is form because we were created in his image and um, in his likeness and then he put the image of who we followed Satan on our skin and our hair you know we became the snake skin and snake hair or fish skin whatever you want to call it he put it over us but we are in the form of, of what Father Yah is um, he certainly is bigger and stronger and more mighty and powerful but um, and the Holy Spirit goes out into the world the Holy Spirit is comes and goes as it as he wills it to come and go it comes in us when he wants it to and if you have the if you're sealed with the promise and you have the holy spirit and the holy spirit walks with you wherever you go and you can mourn the spirit and the spirit you know isn't working in your life if you're in sin or if you're doing something contrary to the word of god um, but it does not take away the promise um, by your faith and and some will fall away from the faith and follow lies, which, you know, the one world religion is being set up, and it was set up last year with Obama and the Pope. And if you look at that one world religion, it's the same as humanism, which is of the Olympics. Humanism, which is, which believes in that energy force that's not of the Father. There's, t there's another energy force that's not of the Holy Spirit. Um... And that is a false counterfeit light. So be careful what you believe, which light you're following, because Jesus said, be careful that the light you're following isn't really darkness. Um, so uh, he, was, he, he knew the truth, and he, he exposed the truth. Um, we have to seek it out with him and have him lead us to all those truths. And only by his spirit can we, can we understand the word of God. Only by his spirit can we see... Um, the truth and Jesus needs to clean your eyes and your ears out so that you can see these things in the world Anyways, um, make sure that you do everything in love and it's not the love of the world It's the love by the Holy Spirit. It's not going to look the same um, The love of the world is very different. So um, research that out 
All right. Love of God is exactly what Jesus did. He laid his life down for a brother. That is the true love of God, which is the agape that I know. All right. God bless you all. Bye-bye.